Hi guys, it's me Yang and welcome back to my channel. So yes, I know it's been a while but yeah, I'm just happy that I'm back sitting in my room filming a video and talking to you guys. And I'm even happier that you're here listening to me spending your precious time with me. So yeah, you're probably watching me right now because you're going to take your licensure examination. And if you are a med tech, days from now you're going to take your board exam. So I wish you all the best and good luck. But this video also applies to all students out there who is going to take the board examination. Because today, I'm going to share some tips and advices about board exam. And I hope that the things that I'm going to share with you will help you, motivate you, and inspire you to grab your license. So as you can see on the title below guys, it's Top the MedTech Board Exam Part 2. So yes, I have already uploaded the part 1 and it is a freebie on my channel, you can check that out. And yes, that video guys is the most watched video on my channel. Like I really didn't expect that it will inspire a lot of people. Well, that's my main goal after all guys is to inspire you and I hope that I'm doing good about that. Well, yeah. Today, it's the part 2 and I'm going to share some tips and advices, so I hope this helps you guys. So just a little background of me, I passed the medical technology board examination on March 2019 and I did not top the board exam, but I did pass. So I made that video guys because I was too inspired back then to share my experience in taking the board examination and I'm glad I made that. Well, yes. So let's get started guys. On the description below, you can see a link there. You click that, well, it's about syllabus of the method board exam. It is guidelines in the preparations of the topic in the subject of the medical technology board exam. So basically, it's the percentage of the subjects in the method board exam. So to be knowledgeable about that, go and check that link after watching the video. So in taking the board examination, guys, first, you should know how to study. So this is all about scheduling your study time. So time management is very important here. And also, you should know what type of learner are you. Are you auditory or visual? And also, you should know when is your peak hours are. Are you a nocturnal person? Which means you are most productive at night. Or maybe you are the other way around, which is during daytime. So throughout the years of studying, guys, probably by now you already know yourself the most. When is your best time to study? And what is your best technique to effectively understand what you are studying? So this tip, guys, is the first step in taking the board examination. You should know how to study. So next tip, guys, is to answer past board exam questionnaires. If you are a 2021 board takers, I know you have prepared and studied enough for your board exam. While well, supposedly your exam was last year, but due to pandemic, it is postponed. And now you're going to take your board exam for this year. And if you are in medtech, days from now, you're going to take your board exam. So consider this time in answering questions. While well, the advantages of answering question is it will help you guys kung paano umatake ang questions sa board exam. While questions in a board exam is not objective, all choices can be the answer. You just have to find the best answer. That's why it's mahirap. So when you study guys, you make sure you understand the topic before jumping on the next topic. So it's more likely you have to study quality over quantity. And also when you answer question guys, you do rush up. This will help you eliminate the other choices and help you find the best answer for that question. For my next tip, guys, you will love this. In taking the board examination, you have to rest. If you are tired, get to rest. Don't pressure yourself. In order for you to study again, you have to rest first, right? So yeah, and chill lang tayo, guys. You don't want to be sick right now, especially on the day of the board exam. You don't want to experience that. So be healthy guys, eat a lot of healthy foods, and drink a lot of water to keep yourself hydrated. So yes guys, 
But during your rest day, do a light scanning or light reading of your notes because the only key to remember something guys is repetition. Yes, that's very true guys. Because if you will skip a day without reading, you will be lazy the next day, the next week, and the next month. Yes, so don't skip a day without reading. So just do light scanning or reading of your notes, even on your rest day. So always make the most out of your days, even on your rest day. Yes. So my next tip guys is to stay positive. I know this year has been really a roller coaster to us. But despite of the pandemic, we are still blessed, we are still living our life, moving forward. So stay positive guys, it really affect your total health. So in staying positive, you have to be inspired. Remember why are you doing these things? Why do you have to pass the board exam? Of course, it's for yourself, for your future, family, parents, loved ones. That's why I like the quote that says, make being inspired a priority. Well, it's on my bio on Instagram. You can check my IG. It's still a death yeah. Yes. So yeah, make being inspired a priority. Be inspired. Yeah, in doing this, guys, have a solid support system. Solid support system from your friends, from your family, parents, and loved ones. Yes. In staying positive, okay, also allow yourself to have down days yes guys um having down days we really cannot avoid this okay especially pag malapit ng board exam we entertain thoughts we entertain thoughts of negativity so let this negativity okay push you forward in achieving your dreams so a tip for you to stay positive is to meditate this will help you calm and do exercise but the most important thing is to pray guys. So prayer guys is very important, especially at times like this. Yeah. So yes guys, do your best on your part and put all your trust in God. And for those who wants to back out, please believe in yourself, okay? Just do it, face your fears and claim it. If metric ka, okay, claim mo na RMT ka na. Days from now, magiging RMT ka na. Yes, okay, claim mo na yan. Because if you have to pay for something, you have to be confident about that. Okay, so yeah, those are my tips on how to pass the board exam and even top the board exam. So next guys, I'm going to share my references. So on my part one video, I have already shared yung total references sa MedTech. Okay, but today I'm going to share yung references ko on what I used and what I only have during my board exam. So number one is clinical chemistry. I used Rodriguez and review notes. And then for microbiology and parasitology, it's from my review notes of Sir Charles. So shout out to Sir Charles. Thank you so much, sir. I was really inspired by your message back then. Thank you so much for believing in me. Yes. So for Micro and Para, you can also use the book of Bailey and Scats, but I didn't read the entire book. I only read the chapters 2, 5, 7, and 13. Okay. For clinical microscopy, I use Strassinger and Review Notes. And then next is Hematology. Hematology, it's from my Review Notes. So shout out guys reading lesson. Yes. Next is Immunology and Serology and Blood Banking. Review notes rin, galing kay Sir Gerard. So shout out kay Sir Gerard, you're the best sir. Yes. So for immunology and serology, you can use the book of Stevens. And then for blood banking, it's Harmony. And then last is Histopath. So sa Histopath, it's from my review notes. So for my other review notes, I use Patsy. I really love Patsy. Well, it's full of stories and mnemonics. And I really love the concept of like that so like enjoy a cause of Patsy and then next is Har I love Har even though mahirap siya well Har okay mahirap yung mga questions niya and also the Russia but I love I love the Russia and the questions so overall kahit mahirap ang Har gusto gusto ko siya and it's very helpful so yes so that's all for my references guys on what I use during my review days for my board examination. So 
so yeah i think that's it for today's video guys i hope that this will help you a lot and i want to congratulate in advance our mga RMDs this coming days congratulations yes so yeah so yes guys i hope that this will help you and inspire you and motivate you to grab your license and always remember that you are destined for great things so keep moving forward guys and yep see you on my next video Bye!